Happy Friday! Welcome back. So we're doing installment two on please pray for our dad because he's still in the intensive care unit and he was off the vent for a couple days and then they put him back on the vent so he's still in need of prayer. But we know that God can do all things and Amen. God is in charge and nobody yes. can take him before his time. And we just are entrusting him to the Lord and praying for a miracle because we still want him very badly. But we know that God is good. And so we're going to sing our dad's very favorite hymn. This is How Firm a Foundation. And we're going to sing it to the Lord. And we're just thankful for the firm foundation that we have in the Lord. But as we sing it, we're also, again, pouring our hearts out yes. to the Lord, asking him for grace for our dad.
around, around. And this week, I found myself in my tabs, and I ended up in John 6, 60. And it says, therefore, many of his disciples, when they heard this, said, this is a hard saying when Jesus was asking them to eat his flesh and drink his blood. If they don't, they have no part in him. When he said he was the bread of life, and they kind of were like, oh, we don't get it. When Jesus knew in himself, verse 61, that his disciples complained about this, he said to them, does this offend you? What then if you should see the Son of Man ascend where he was before? It is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. And that, and that word gives life is quickeneth, in, probably in the King James. But what it means in the Greek is make alive again. It's like the idea of reviving. And we need revival. My dad needs revival. He needs to be made alive again. Only the Holy Spirit can do that. It is the Spirit who gives life. It is the Spirit who quickeneth. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were who did not believe and who would betray him. And he said, Therefore, I have said to you that no one can come to me unless it has been granted to him by my Father. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked with him no more. Then Jesus said to the twelve, Do you also want to go away? But Simon Peter answered him, and this needs to be our answer, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of life. Also, we have come to believe and know that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. See, that's the thing. Life is going to give you really, really difficult things. It's going to hand you difficulty and tribulation on a silver platter. And the Lord warned us that's exactly how it would be. And what, what do we need? How are we going to stand? We're going to realize that who else has the words of life? That would be nobody. And we're going to stay like Velcro, stuck to Jesus. And that's what this poem is called. It's called Faith Velcro. Hebrews 11:6 6 says, But without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Cling to Jesus. Here it goes. Faith Velcro. Inner struggles for sanity. Screaming on the inside. Silent on the outside. Express yourself or exit left. Cat got your tongue? <laughs> Emotional finger hold on the last rung on the ladder of spiritual health. These are some dark days when the pressures of living leave nothing forgiving. Faith Velcro, keeping it all together, never fails. When all else is lost, stick to the word, stick to the Lord, stick to the Savior, stick to his sword. Though tested on every side, he will see me through. Though I want to run and hide, his promises are always true. He loves me no matter what I do, when I haven't a clue, when I've just warmed a pew. Oh, Jesus, be the fuzzy, sticky poly glue that secures the sinner to you. Faith. Okay, you're going to need some faith Velcro in these last days. Mm -hmm. And our hope is not in this earth. Like we're, we're praying desperately that our dad will be healed and raised up. But our hope is ultimately in eternity. We know he's secure, whatever happens to him, because his life is held in Jesus' hands. And that's where our hope needs to be, because you will have tribulation. And if our hope is in this earth, we're not going to be stuck like that Velcro <laughs> to Jesus like we need to be. So let's get our eyes on heaven, get our eyes on Jesus. Okay, mm -hmm. some traditional tunes. <laughs>
God bless you. Keep praying. Keep trusting. Keep clinging to Jesus. He's our only hope. Happy Friday.